So you notice, I started talking about what a limit was, but I never actually defined the limit. Instead, I sort of just talked about how to solve one. I said that we get closer and closer to something. Not actually at that point, but if we travel close to a point, that's the idea of a limit. So I'm going to share with you what your calculus textbook calls a limit. And the calculus textbook says, the idea of the limit. We say that the number L is the limit of f of x as x approaches a, provided that we can make the number f of x as close to L as we please, merely by choosing x sufficiently near, though not equal to, the number a. So I think you'll agree with me that's a little bit confusing, but all it's really saying is we don't have to know what the function actually does at a. In this case, at a, we're at b. All we have to know for what a limit is, it's what happening very close to A. So as I approach A from both sides, as I get sufficiently close to A, I'll know what the limit is.